My name is Harriet Sianjivu Miato. I'm an executive director in education based in Rusaka, Zambia, and this is my story. I got my Australian award in 1992, and I went to Australia in 1993, and I came back in May 1995. I was at a university called Deakin in Melbourne, Victoria, and I came back with a master's in education. I wanted to be a teacher because I love children, and especially vulnerable children, I love them. Zambia Open Community Schools, popularly known as Ox, is an organization that has been offering education to orphans and vulnerable children from 1992. It was started by an Irish sister called Eileen McLaughlin, who saw the need working in one of the vulnerable communities of Lusaka because of the children that were seen walking streets not going to school. Zambia has a population of about 14 million right now. But when you think of the fact that out of that number, more than 1.6 million are orphans and vulnerable children. And that number, most of them would not have an access to education at all. It is the more reason why organizations like Zox are providing education to those children. Education not only is it a right, but it is the only vaccine that one can use when you want to work towards getting rid of poverty. We go into the community, support them, to be able to advocate and claim the rights of children from duty bearers, in this case, the Minister of Education. We only believe that through community mobilization, the community itself being able to do things, run things, run their business by themselves, only then can we change the bad situation of not providing education to children be achieved. We also go into a community to build the capacity of those communities to do things differently. We train them how to run the community schools. We train them how to mobilize resources. We train them how to account whatever they are given by either a donor or an individual to benefit an orphan or vulnerable child. Today um, in Zambia, we have 3,000 community schools that are looking after in the provision of education for 600,000 orphans and vulnerable children countrywide. And most of these are girls. The organization really is like providing hope for those children, creating opportunities for them to be able to go to school, and at the end of the day, be enlightened of their responsibilities which they will use to not, not only develop themselves, but also develop this country. Our approach is centered on learning. Whether there is a classroom or no classroom, as long as a child is there, learning must take place. Each day I come for work, it's like my hope for the following day. Just when you go in the schools, those lovely smiles, the aspirations that they have, the dreams that they have. You go in a class situation, you ask them questions. They want to be somebody one day. Somebody who will be either a doctor, a pilot. They name all these very high-ranking positions. And for me, that is very inspiring. The Harriet and the community school system made it possible for me to have a future. I went to China Open Community School and now I'm training to be a teacher myself. When you go out, you see a lot. And it's interesting that when you come back, you are able to think differently and do things in the way that you think they will help your country. Zambia is not a poor country. Zambia is endowed with a lot of natural resources. But only when people are educated will they tap into that. And you see that is a development 
that can take us out of poverty. And the honorary education can do that.